What is a coronavirus? The name of coronavirus comes from its shape, which resembles a crown or solar corona when imaged using an electron microscope. What is zoonotic transmission? Both SARS and MERS are classified as zoonotic viral diseases, meaning the first patients who were infected acquired these viruses directly from animals. This was possible because while in the animal host, the virus had acquired a series of genetic mutations that allowed it to infect and multiply inside humans. What is wrong with bats? Bats have been the source of at least five pandemics the coronavirus spreading in China and the SARS outbreak of 2003 have two things in common, both are from the coronavirus family and both were passed from animals to humans in a wet market. Coronaviruses are zoonotic diseases, meaning they spread to people from animals. Because wet markets put people and live in dead animals dogs, chickens, pigs, snakes, and more in close contact, it can be easy for a virus to make an interspecies jump. Poorly regulated live animal markets mixed with illegal wildlife trade offer a unique opportunity for viruses to spill over from wildlife hosts into the human population. In the case of SARS, and probably this coronavirus outbreak too, bats were the original hosts. They then infected other animals via their poop or saliva, and the unwitting intermediaries transmitted the virus to humans. Bats and birds are considered reservoir species for viruses with pandemic potential. In the past 45 years, at least three other pandemics have been traced back to bats. The creatures were the original source of Ebola which has killed 13,500 people in multiple outbreaks since 1976, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. Better known as MERS, which can be found in 28 countries, and the Nipah virus, which has a 78% fatality rate. A greater horseshoe bat, a relative of the Rhinolophus sinicus bat species from China that was the origin of the SARS virus. According to a group of scientists who edit the Journal of Medical Virology, the intermediary species in this case could be the Chinese cobra. That's because further genetic analysis showed that the genetic building blocks of the Wuhan coronavirus closely resembled that of snakes. So the researchers think a population of bats could have infected snakes, which passed the virus to humans as they were being sold at the Huanan Wholesale. Seafood Market in Wuhan Why bats pose such a threat Bats harbor a significantly higher proportion of zoonotic viruses than other mammals, according to a 2017 study. Experts think that's because bats can fly across large geographical ranges, transporting diseases as they go. That makes them an ideal host. Bats pass along viruses in their poop. If they drop feces onto a piece of fruit that a different animal then eats, the creature can become a carrier. It is highly likely that future SARS or MERS-like coronavirus outbreaks will originate from bats, and there is an increased probability that this will occur. In China That's because the majority of coronaviruses those that circulate both in humans and in animals can be found in China. Plus. Most of the bat hosts of these coronaviruses live near humans in China, potentially transmitting viruses to humans and livestock. How Wuhan coronavirus can jump from bats to snakes to people. Thank you for watching this video.